AMD is making things a lot cheaper in case you're looking to upgrade. Corsair wants to give you wood, and we've got X3D discussions to have. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And as we begin the discussions of the new X3D chips, I just wanna inform you that we are gonna be giving away this entire H9 Flow PC. Right now, it has a 7950X and a 7900 XTX in here, as well as a whole bunch of other high-end NZXT goodies. But the important thing is we're actually gonna be going to Micro Center tomorrow to pick up the 7950X3D, live streaming the entire thing. And if you wanna enter in for a chance to win this, all you have to do is come watch our Twitch channel. We're live right now. As this video goes live, we'll be live the entire day and also through the entire evening because we have to drive to Micro Center to pick up the X3D chip to put in here. So if you want a shot at winning a high-end gaming PC, courtesy of us and NZXT, you can check out the link in the video description to head on over to Twitch for that. But in case you're looking to build a Ryzen 7000 series PC in the first place, AMD is actually rolling out new promotions as of today where they're trying to save you up to $125 in order to get you incentivized to purchase some new chips. This is going to include discounts if you buy a new Ryzen 7000 CPU, the new motherboards, and some new RAM. You can save between $75 and $125 when you bundle this all together, and that's on top of the free AAA game that they're giving you, which is Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is launching sometime, I believe, in April as the new release date for that video game. But one of the things to note is that this is not on the X3D chips that are supposed to launch tomorrow. This is just on the regular ones that they've already launched, and the amount of savings that you're going to get is going to depend on which motherboard CPU combo you get, but if you potentially want to do something like a 7600 with a low end B650 with some 16, 32 gigs of RAM, you actually might be actually looking at a pretty decent savings here to help incentivize whether or not you're going to pick up a Ryzen 7000 series PC. Let me know, does this help incentivize you to upgrade? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. And Dead Space got an upgrade with the new remake that came out. Hotly anticipated, well received, looks like it's a very good remake. And now EA wants to know, hey, can we cash in more on this cow a little bit? Because they're sending out an email survey where they're asking game players whether or not they're interested in a Dead Space 2 remake and a Dead Space 3 remake, which I believe Dead Space 2 was well regarded, but Dead Space 3 was mixed or people didn't actually even like that one, just kind of forgot about it altogether. Let me know down below in the comments, do you want Dead Space 2 or 3 to also get a remake like Dead Space 1 did? And remaking Windows 11 seems to be the new hotness. Videos coming out all the time on how to fix Microsoft's operating system. Tiny 11 seems to be one of the more popular situations out there. We've talked about this in hot news before. It's a small version of Windows 11 that can run on systems with only two gigabytes of RAM. And in fact, they've shown it with running only 768 megabytes of RAM. There have been people who've gotten it running on something like a Raspberry Pi. But one of the concerns was, hey, how do I know that this is actually trustworthy because it's not made by Microsoft? Well, they came out with a little builder tool for you. Tiny 11 Builder allows you to download an official Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft themselves, use their program, which we'll have a link in the video description if you want to follow all of the steps. But then you can see exactly what's happening with Windows 11, how it's getting stripped down and being configured to what you want. You can build it out yourself, and that way you can have a stripped down version of Windows 11 that's better for you and your situation in case you want to try it out. And I want to try out Reese for UFD deals. Hey friends, welcome back to UFD deals, bringing you the hottest tech deals on the internet. I'm Reese. it's far too early in the morning for this, but you guys deserve some audio deals. Like this HyperX Cloud Core wired gaming headset, which is going for only $29.99, which is $40 off for a solid pair of headphones. But then if you're like me and you hate wires and you don't mind paying an extra $5, then the Razer Noria Central wireless gaming headset is going for only $34.99, which is $65 off. Alternatively, you can also pick this up open box for only $29.99, which is the same price as the HyperX Cloud core and that's it those are the deals for the day you can find the links to these and more in the video description down below hope you guys have a fantastic start to your week and i'm gonna hand you off back to bread for the rest of your hot news cheers thanks reese i don't know if you included this probably not because it's not necessarily a deal but corsair wants you to forget all about the fractal north pc which i cannot do because i have it now and it's phenomenal my pc build that i've done with it just looks immaculate i haven't taken any personal pictures of my build yet but chris from coalition gaming posted this on twitter taking a screenshot from our twitch stream where i built this 
this. I love this case so much. And Corsair knows that people want this. It's out of stock everywhere. It's incredibly popular at the moment. And so they're gonna be releasing wood accents for their 4,000 and 5,000 series cases. They're gonna start at $55. You can get them in Sapele, Bamboo, or Teak. And it's gonna be $55 for the 4,000 series panels, $75 for the 5,000 series panels. And Corsair is saying that this is not going to affect airflow in any way. And it's supposed to actually be real wood that you can add to your PC. I think that this is a good design aesthetic that I like seeing popping up. I enjoy that Fractal did this. Corsair is doing it as well. The $55 and $75 price point does make it so that the cases get a little bit more expensive. Let me know whether you want to upgrade a Corsair case with this, or would you rather to just buy the Fractal North at 130 bucks? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. People have heard that Intel wants to get their GPUs out to you, and so their latest strategy is just shipping a crap ton of them over to Europe, with it being reported that the ARC A750, the one that just received a price drop to $250 here in the US and 260 euro in the EU has been getting thousands of GPUs shipped to them with certain retailers saying that they even have 1200 units of these in stock. No GPU shortage for Intel's GPUs on the other side of the pond. And no shortage of X3D reports probably after this episode of Hot News goes live or maybe even before because I don't have the embargo time. You're going to see all of the reviews of the X3D chips, but I'm going to try to report on the things that I don't have yet because I'm filming this before the embargo goes goes live and this is hopefully going live before it actually comes out but it looks like the x3d chips are the fastest gaming chips that you could possibly get. The 7950X3D reviewer kit leaking, AMD providing this to people and it showing at least in their benchmarks that yeah, this beats the 13900K handedly. However, you do have to wonder why they're not using the 13900KS, which is admittedly a faster chip than what Intel has, especially when their lead is only 5.6% when you combine it with the 7900XTX and when you combine it with an RTX 4090, their lead goes up to 6%, but that makes the 7950X3 about 16% faster than the 7950X. Now you have to wonder how many YouTubers are actually gonna have the 13900KS on hand in the first place. And then on top of that, how many of those are gonna get the X3D chip to compare it against Intel's fastest versus AMD's fastest is not what's being compared here. But I think that's one of the reasons why Intel wanted to shoehorn in the 13900KS back at CES. They wanted it to be out there and say, ha ha, you're comparing against last gen. It's not the new one that we have. But AMD does show that Intel does win in specific scenarios. If you look over here, you can see Ashes of the Singularity, 7950X3D loses to the 13900K, as well as in CSGO, Cyberpunk 2077, and Total War three kingdom but in many games it actually does win out and also in synthetic benchmarks them showing that in cinebench geekbench the intel chip's going to be faster but then when it comes to seven zip ryzen's going to win we'll have to wait for more third-party benchmarks to come out to see the plethora of testing that it's gone through the 7900 x3d should likely be just as fast for gaming maybe not as good in some of these productivity benchmarks and anything that can use more cores but from what we're hearing all of the X3D chips should perform the same. So it's gonna really come down to how many multi-core performance enhancements do you need? And then also how much money do you have to spend on these? And how much are you not going to wait for the 7800 X3D, which is supposed to be slightly faster than all of these chips. Also getting a third party review coming in, showing off that with the 3090 at 1080p, the 7950 X3D is kind of matching what AMD is saying it's going to be, which is a mighty fast chip. So I wanna hear from you. Does it bother you at all that AMD pushed back the launch of the 7800 X3D with the performance that we're seeing out of the 7950X3D. Are you buying it? Are you waiting a little bit longer? How's the situation shaking for you? Do you trust AMD with this launch? And also the question of availability. What's happening there? All I know is I'm gonna do my level best to get one. You can come watch us over on our Twitch stream. We're gonna be live streaming our journey to Micro Center to go pick up an X3D chip to put in this system back here. Hopefully it's fruitful. We'd love to have you join us for that entire trip in case you want to. And again, we're gonna be giving away this PC, so you have incentive to come watch us. And with that being said, I gotta go prep for that trip, so I'll see you back here for more hot news tomorrow. Cheerios.